I'd gotten bit by the beetle bug. <laughs> and I'd, I'd started making beetles. Another thing I'd been doing for the ant arena, actually, was the, the floor flipper based on the, the brushless stuff from the haptic robots. And I kind of built it in the morning before the event. <laughs> so you literally put your PhD inside an ant arena. So you can see the, the electronic controller there was my very first brushless controller. Oh, uh, magical. But yeah, so that actually was kind of the inspiration for my honest beginning into beetles, really. Because I had these sort of stupid ESC and I had these stupid motors. They would just about fit into the weight of a beetle. <laughs> But I eventually kind of settled on a hammer design, later known as Gear Down For What. So you can see the same floor flipper motor driving the axe there. Generation 2 of my ESCs taking up the entire base of the robot. <laughs> <laughs> this is you showing us Gear Down For What for the first time. I remember just being absolutely mind blown because it was nothing like any, any Beatles ever. <laughs> So a really big factor to all fighting robots, in my opinion, is is how well you can control the thing. But since, like, yeah, the first version of Gear Down for what? Well, so I actually had, I think, for a very rare feature in it, which was a gyroscope, which was, again, built into my silly custom ESC. The drive in Gear Down for what, being direct drive hub motors, was stupidly quick. And so getting it to turn smoothly is, is quite a difficult thing. Like, you'll see it in a lot of brushless robots, is they won't, they won't drive in a straight line. So... That robot was, yeah, the very, the very first iteration of Gear Down for what? Very famous Rory Mangles came up with that name. So that had its um, first event at uh, BBB4. It had a good few fights. This was the best one. I don't know. I think that, like at this point, I was, I was really enjoying the sort of brutal, brutal power of the thing. After this event, I decided to refine this robot. The main difference really is this: the new one had a higher speed motor in the axe, <laughs> and put these giant hooks on the top of all my robots. To anything that sort of went up the wedge would get stuck on them, and then I could slam it into a wall somewhere. This one, of course, had the snappy fight. I love, yeah, I love that we managed to make a wedge fight entertaining. There's an aluminium pole behind the motor that whenever the axe goes back, it hits the pole and launches the front of the robot upwards. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually lift a beetle up the ground with, with that. Wow. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. The other main change with this one is I went up to 4S on the battery. So yeah, it's, it's got a lot more punch than the last one. This is like a bit of footage from the test box. Just to, just to show off the power of this thing. <laughs> Shoving four, four beetles across the arena beautiful after that event like i i really doubled down on the the drivability aspect of, of beetles i cut out a bit of weight from the the weapon motor and used that to go four-wheel drive around this time i also discovered the little router we had in our university lab um, and so suddenly six sheets of hdp were an option for me but i did stick with the nylon wedge for this one this is a six mil nylon wedge. I also went for the pivoted forks as well. I also, yeah, went to the polyurethane tires on this one. That was the finished, finished chassis. Still, still at this point, it's almost like sort of 650 grams of motor. So I did, did a bit of testing. Um, like it's, it drove absolutely beautifully. So in this one, I've actually, um, at this point, I've up, upgraded the ESC to one that I designed spe specifically for um, combat robots. Nice. Um, so it had its first first outing at the FI Beetle Champs, and it had it had a very rough first event. R Mr. Rory Mangles had, had talked me into attempting an aluminium wedge. It had like the one thing it did do really well was about the best box rush in, in Beetle history, I think. Yeah, that was sick. <laughs> but after that, it kind of goes down hill like rev gets spinning um yeah rev's got one of the the biggest k you know ke horizontals in beetles when it when it works you just gotta hope it's gonna explode quickly um yeah but, I mean, but right there it, it did take one hit from rev's weapon and was fine and um, it was only when i actually drove my wedge into him that the bad thing happened there might actually have been potential in it if it had been driven right but anyway yeah that was a rough first fight um and then the next fight didn't go any better really I remember um, this being a really rough day. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I had a lot higher hopes for this robot. Yeah. I built a robot I'm really proud of. I'm ready for it to do well, kind of thing. Yeah. And it's always the way. Anyway, this was this was the robot's first event, and so I was willing to forgive it for having a, a rough out. And yeah, then its next event was, was Extreme STEM. So you get a rematch um, against Rev. And also in this arena that has no pit. <laughs> yes. But at least it was a bit smaller, so I had the advantage of... It's the, the box rush. <laughs> yeah, I ran, ram, ram him enough that his wheel falls off. Oh, yeah, I back off a bit and now he's... Oh, he gets yeah. stuck. But... 
I guess um, the problem with gear down for what with horizontals is three of your four sides are available for damaging the very soft. <laughs> um, well, it's a cube ring, really, isn't it? So it's it's the top as well. The top as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna hope those, those hooks are. <laughs> Oh wow, yeah. that's truly mangled. Um, that must have felt good to buckle Rev in the same way Rev buckled you. Yeah, it was. It did feel, you know, a bit of cosmic justice. Um, I, yeah, I think you should learn that as weapon, you see. But <laughs> yeah, this was, you know, obviously the same robot fight, fighting the same robot. There's there's a lot that's happened in the in the months between yeah. the year and this event. So one of my favourite things from this event as well is <laughs> the, fight, the fight against Crab. I really get to sort of. Let it, let it off the leash in terms of the power of it. When you slammed into the wall, you literally would send it into the sky. It's so incredible. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of the, it's just the wheelie ramping up and off of the crab. That I, that I from the Beautiful. So pretty much the same robot then went to SXS. So there was something else that happened before before that event, which was this this guy. So I completely abandoned everything I held dear in my moral philosophy, and I put gears on a beetleboy. I geared down for flips. Nice little test flip. Oh, gotta love the slow motion. Finished version there with the the wheel guards on. Get down for what I've actually folded the edge of the wedge now. Finally, we have a bit of armor. You know, both robots had a very good time at SXS. First fight I had was Tosser with White Boy and Night Fury. Night Fury, of course. Yeah, I get I get some. But that's that's the first time a beetle has been thrown with a flipper like that ever, if, to my knowledge, at least in the UK. Like yeah. that, that that first flip there. I feel there's a lot more to be stuck out of it. For version one for a first event as well. This is so legit. Yeah, the next fight I had was against Volper. Again, yeah, this was I think the best example of, of flips going on. Yeah. Most people are getting flipping on the on the app weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you are um, you are tossing it across the arena. That's what's so cool. Yeah, and then the fourth thing draws K2. <laughs> it wasn't meant to compete in this event. It had been built as a concept um, and ended last minute because we had space for reserves, I think. Eventually, yeah, the fight had to be called off because um, my balance plug uh, got, got nicked. Naturally, I, I have my lipos completely unguarded at the back of my robot and, you know, I deserve to pay for that. <laughs> Gear down for what obviously had a, a very good run um, this event. The machine was very dialed in. I, I did a lot of practice driving um, this machine around the lab. I had a good good first fight against Bourbon and Couch Potato. <laughs> poor, um, poor Sam, like his first ever Beetle fight. And it's like, <laughs> here you go, here's the fastest robot and one of the scariest drums. Now put your couch in there and go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then Bourbon gets stuck in the wall. I'm silly and I free him. Yeah, I managed to managed to get the uter on him, which you just know, through drive speed, which is just incredible. Just through the power of the drive, um, which is yeah, I'm slightly annoyed. I got the uter with gear down for one, not not it, Yeah. And then in this fight, like you really see the the power of the drive comes into its own, fighting another wedge. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like you get some yeah, really nice slams against Oh the my wall. god, that's incredible. This this is I think my my pinnacle of, of combat robots in terms of the fights I've managed to win. So this is after losing um, with Tossa. I went into this fight with quite high hopes. Oh man. Um, yeah, just before this fight, like K2 had fought Jay, um, which is I think Hardox. It completely tore Jay apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going in with my six mil of nylon and no armor anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then there's the Dwayne Nibley fight. So the so Dwayne Nibley had just won Scotland as well. Was won the uh, won the Battle of the Burr. Yeah. Once once he gets a grab on you, he's he's kind of he's got you. The axe being a shaky stick, see, so I managed to sort of shake out, and then when I've got one wheel on the ground, yeah, yeah, <laughs> just one one brushless hub motor can <laughs> drag a couple of robots around, all the speed, and then oh, beautiful, what an ending! <laughs> so that was the semi-finals. So this is the grand the final. This fight just didn't quite go well. <laughs> Milo had been tearing things up all day. Oh, man. Yeah, so I've, I've kind of got something dodgy going on in my drive after that first hit. As soon as he gets a hit on the back, that's, that's it for me. It's very painful to watch this wrote off pretty much the entire bot. Oh man. Well, that's, that was the end of SXS. And the end of events. <laughs> yeah. The end of events. <laughs> but you know, I've had some fun during lockdown. I've been iterating my, my flippers. The first attempt at that was this. Oh, that's so cool. 
unfortunately, when I did the maths, I missed the zero. Um, and so it ended up being, <laughs> ended up being um, a very powerful lifter instead of being a flipper. And then the most recent attempt was, was this guy. Yeah, full, full stupidness, really. Um, it's essentially the same as the original tosser, except using two of gear down for what's drive most and having two completely independent flippers and also running it on 8S, yes. which is... Which is sometimes. Anyone that's looking to get into like brushless, where would you recommend that they kind of start, or, or with like your kind of build style in general? As, as I am at the minute, like routers are my favourite tool mm. for building beetleweights. You can build like super lightweight um, HTTP parts really easily on a router. All my bots have the, the aluminium standoffs. Really easy way to make super lightweight chassis. But in terms of like brushless. There's no easy way to get into it at the minute. <laughs> to be blunt. Um, so if you're trying to do this at home, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Desks are good for feathers. If you want to brush this feather, definitely try and get censored motors. They make a big difference. So I guess like I've I've come from like you know the sort of normal beginnings that most people start with like boxy ants and you know off the shelf stuff. But I've like I've put like all these dumb things in my robots down the line it's gotten good enough to actually be effective i think craig's demonstrated his home built style can be really competitive and you've demonstrated your very phd style can be very competitive <laughs> so it's yeah find find what works for you and iterate and practice like practice driving with don't never expect your your first few robots to to do well or even to work at all <laughs> <laughs> we'll say goodbye but before we do don't forget to like share and subscribe to the joke <laughs> <laughs> I always try to say it, yeah, with the, the least least excited voice I can. Yeah, don't forget to like favor. Sponsored by Pr Pringles. <laughs> Have you tried the new spicy flavors? They're so good. Big up. Have you tried, it's you tried the brush flavor? Uh, <laughs> Alright. No. Nope. Bye, guys! Bye! Bye. Bye.